Welcome back to DIY with KB. My name is Kiva and I teach people how to achieve the lux look for less. Now today, we're not just doing any old home decor haul. Don't worry, we're playing a game. We're playing a game, it is interactive and I need your help. We're playing keep or pass. I'm showing you all the home decor I've accumulated over the past two months and you're gonna let me know if I should keep it right here in my home that you guys have all seen or if I should pass on it. Maybe that item is just not for me. I'm gonna tell you the price, what I wanna do with it, and you are gonna be the judge. Before we get into today's video, please remember to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And if you want me to design your home, click the link down in my description box for my virtual design sessions. Now let's get into today's video. Here is item number one. It is David. He is nice and cute. It is a bust on a little bit of a pedestal. So Arvin did this video recently and people in the comments were like, I'm all over those like statues. Like you guys need to stop. Like that's trendy. Guys, I had these statues in um, my room when I had a twin size bed, when I had a full size bed, when I had a queen size bed. And now that I have a king size bed, I am a history uh, junkie. Like I was a biochemistry major in college, but every opportunity I got, paleontology, anthropology, history. This is this is what gets me going, guys. So I love these statues. Now this one was a little bit pricey, so I think you're gonna tell me to send them home. David here was $39.99. This is David, and this is the size of my head, so his whole body is my head size. Um, he weighs more than the dog, so he is solid. So this is $39.99, and then, okay. I got a little carried away. I did get another one as well. His friend here. Um, if I'm gonna keep one, I wanna keep the David, but let me know down below. Should I keep these or should I rehome them? Item number two is this candelabra. You'd say, Kiva, this is not Beauty and the Beast. We have electricity. I know, but I saw it and I ran. You should see me in Home Goods. I enter the front door and I just book it. I book it for absolutely no reason because there's no one in there. The people, most of the people are looking for the live, laugh, love signs and I'm like, I need this candelabra. But this candelabra was $16.99. I think that's a pretty good price and I love the gold. You know, gold is one of the accents in my home so I feel like I can keep it. I really wanna put this on maybe one of my new side tables or you know, just in a drawer for me to look at, which is never a good sign. My idea is to put some candles in it and kind of melt the wax down, a little gothic look. If you've been watching those 2021 trends, the gothic, the maximalism is coming back and I wanna lean into it a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. Um, and I feel like this could help me achieve that. The next item is this vase. So this vase was $12.50 from Joanne, which I think is a great price. This is the size relative to my head. Apparently my head is the gauge of the day. And I think the vase is a little bit small for my home, but the reason I picked this up is it really reminds me of those Kelly Wurstler vases. And since I'm not a big fan of color, I like to add texture and I love like the little bumpies on here. Bo Alexander made one of these and he did a great job, but like I just like, was too lazy, so I bought one. Um, but let me know if you think this is gonna work in my home. I think this might be a scale problem for me though. Item number four is this nice rustic bowl from Restoration Hardware. Now, as you guys know, I am a Restoration Hardware member. You guys ask me this all the time. Anyone can pay to be a member. It's not like an exclusive club. It is $100 a year, and if you buy a lot of furniture from them, it's worth it because it's going to actually save you thousands. It's not when you sign up for a membership and you save like two pennies and they're like, woohoo. Um, you actually save a lot of money. And this one, because of my member price, it was $71, which I mean, for a bowl like this, is really good um, it has a ton of texture as I'm sure you can see and I don't know it's really good I, I, what do I say besides it's really good you could fill this with moss this actually complements my new side tables again very well because it has like the nice cream earthy texture we love a good earth tone earth tones are also in this year so we want something that adds something without like adding a ton of color because the color just like is not it for me with a bowl like this, you could fill it with geodes, you could fill it with moss, you guys know I love moss, so you could fill it with moss, you could leave it empty. I hope that you guys are learning that in interior design, it's just people like me kind of like deciding that something was gonna be it and then doing it confidently. So that's exactly what you need to do in your home. 
I really like this. I really think I'm going to keep it. I think it just like is total vibes to me. It looks kind of like that big bowl I have from at home, but more of like a sharp edge, which I really enjoy. <music> Item number five is something I bought just because the world told me to buy it. So I found this crystal at Home Goods. Crystals are in right now, but they're kind of glam to me. They're a little bit more feminine. And while I am a woman, I really like a masculine home. It's just my preference. I don't really care if you agree. But it is $25 from Home Goods. A crystal like this could be at least $200 at Restoration Hardware, higher end stores. So I like it. It does have some orange colors to it. And I will say it's more of like a light blue than a white. Um, I like it. I just don't know how I'd style it in my home in particular because I just feel like the glam, the glitzy is not it for me. Like the more gothic, and dark and dramatic something is the more I love it I mean that says a lot about me doesn't it um I don't mind but should I keep this or should I take it to my storage unit to my client's home I'm doing a fun install this weekend and I can't wait to share that with you next week so maybe I'll take this to her home maybe she'd love it Item number six, all you're gonna say is Kiva, are you an actual idiot? And I'm not gonna have a really good answer to your question. So I love the nice overflowing branch look and you're like, Kiva, go outside and get some branches. I hear you, but like, I don't have any green space. So it causes me so much anxiety. I go outside with my clippers and I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And then I'm like, oh God, what if they miss this branch? So yes, I did go to Home Goods and I bought a branch. I bought branches. Look at how big they are. I mean, these are $12.99 and I feel like they could be a moment. I'm sorry, I just can't take one from outside. But I love them. Look at how grand they are. I just want these to stick up into the world and everybody would be like, wow, Kiva's growing a tree in her house. Now, the one downside of these is that my dog is terribly afraid of them. And my dog is the most important thing to me in the world. So like, if he doesn't like them, they may not need to go. But let me know what you think. Could I keep them? Could I style them a little bit more? I feel like I could upcycle them in a way where they could make a really nice centerpiece on my coffee table. Item number five is this link set from Pottery Barn. It's massive. I mean, like, look at this. Like, what kind of necklace would this be? <laughs> Someone would do that and, like, pull it off, too. And I'm so jealous. Um, but this is the link set. I think it's so fun. I think the price is great. Let me find it. It was $76.99, and then I had like $14 or $15 off with my Pottery Barn rewards. I didn't even know Pottery Barn did rewards, so I was happy about that. And I really love it. Again, I love the wood element, but I feel like it might be a little bit rustic. Oh, I got a splinter! Okay, well, that is going to cost it some points. I did get a splinter, but I saved the day. But I really like these. I just think they are a little bit rustic for my home. I can't decide if they fit, but I do use them in my backdrop for my virtual design sessions and people really enjoy them. So that is a plus for me, but I don't know, they're fun, but they don't really fit on anything. I actually downgraded, not downgraded, I just switched out my coffee table for a smaller one. So this is definitely too big for my current coffee table now. So I don't know where to put this, but I do like them. As I said, gold is kind of like my accent color. I love gold. And so when I saw these bases at um, Home Goods, I kind of had to have them. So what I've noted about Home Goods, which I think is really problematic, is they have like their worldly section, which at least here in Pittsburgh, they kind of like hide in the back, which I don't love um, because worldly things are to be celebrated. But besides that, they had the set of African bases. There's this one, this one, and this one. And I don't know, I just thought that they were really beautiful. I love the details, I love the texture. I love that it is an aged brass. They were all together $44, which I think is like a steal. That's really not that much money. Again, I don't know where they'd go, but should I keep them or not? I think they could look really nice in anyone's home. I think it's really important to add worldly uh, aspects to a home. I do prefer that you add them from like your own travels because I think that that is a lot more special, but I think celebrating all cultures is really important and I like the ability to do that this way. I would prefer to buy it from someone who actually like is from Africa, but that's besides the point. Should I keep them or should I rehome them? Let me know down below.
The next item is something that I got from Our House. If you've been hanging out with me a lot recently, you know I'm kind of falling in love with Our House. Not only because they're actually a lot more affordable than I thought, but there's one two blocks from my house. And when you shop at Our House, there are tons of things you can actually take home same day. So this is a boucle poof, is what one would call it. Ugh, she's heavy. She might be blown out with the ISO. I don't know these camera terms, you guys. But she was $200, but let me tell you why I bought her. So I have bad posture. When I was a kid, my grandmother, every time I had bad posture, she'd go, whenever we were out to get me to go, <gasps> right? And so she's not, she's, I don't live with my grandmother anymore because I'm grown. So my posture's kind of fallen in. So when I sit on something like this without a back, I'm more inclined to sit up straight. So that's why I bought it to go under my desk. And I also love that I can shove it under my desk and use it really well for filming because I hate the look of like my chair in the background when I'm filming and like I just don't have any other stools. So I like this. Babe also got one and it's just really nice and fuzzy and the dog likes it. So should I keep it or should I use it somewhere else? The last item is something I didn't need. I 0% needed it, but I had to have it. I went back like five times before I decided to have it. So at least I guess I gave it some consideration. So give me points for that. But I live in Pittsburgh. We have the Anthropology Home Outlet. So their famous Primrose Mirror is there and it's heavily discounted. So this one is the small version, which I'm pretty sure goes for about $500. And I got it for $198, which is really steal. So it costs the same amount as that stool. And I got it in black which was already really, really hard to get. And it's faced the wrong way because like all you'd see is like my mismatched socks on my feet in the reflection. And you just like don't need to know that about me. I really love this. There was no cracks in it, no imperfections. And I just love a grand mirror like this. Like how could I pass this up? But I don't know where to put it in my house. I'm thinking I can switch out the mirror in the powder room for this one, or maybe I can put it above my buffet. I just was like, I have to have this because of course I have my grand restoration hardware mirror, but this one's just different and it's black. Restoration hardware doesn't sell anything in black and black is my color. Color. So I'm feeling hesitant about parting with her, but I do acknowledge that for the past month that I have had her, she has sat on the floor, but I am doing a project soon. I got this like really cool fireplace off of Facebook Marketplace. I'm thinking about this being what sits over top of it, and I think that could be really cool. So should I keep it or should I put it somewhere else? Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching my little twist on my home decor haul, keep or pass. I had so much fun. Let me know what you think about all the items down below. I care about your opinions and I'll keep you updated on what I actually end up doing. Before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video and check me out on Instagram. And again, if you want me to design your home, click the link in my description box for my virtual design sessions. Until next time, have a beautiful day and thanks for watching.